Hello everyone, my name is Master Yap and welcome back to the second half flavoring of Kerbal Space Program. Today we are gonna go on a very big exploration and I hopefully to get to the moon actually. To get a lot of science, to get more parts and go even farther into space. But that comes with a little problem. Uh, at the moment I am building the lander. But one thing, all the mods I added, added also to the game is life support. Which means at the moment we've got a maximum of one day of life support standard. So we need to extend that to, I hope to get at least one week of life support. Uh, so we can uh, go into a safe and stable orbit and get, come back without any problems of running out of food, because the snacks for the Kerbals is pretty important, of course. So, let's see what kind of lander am I going to build. Actually, I don't need a very big tank to get into space, but also we need to have some science with us. Oh, we don't have the materials bay yet, which I was searching for. Um, but do we have solar panels? Because we will need power. Hmm... No, we do not have solar power, solar panels yet, and I do not have enough sp uh, stuff to or research to uh, increase it. So what I am going to do is, I think, at a medium size. I said medium size. Yep, that one. Life support container, and go into a fly by the moon. I think that's the best thing we can do at the moment. Oh, wait, we've got that re-entry. I need to account for that too. Hmm. Um, how to do this, how to do this. So we need to stock everything into the fairing without it burning up. So this is the fairing and we need to have everything within that area. So I guess if we get these uh, double it, actually Let's do four and put it this way. We have it inside there. Yeah, it looks like it. That's good. And this is the air, the stuff we are going to land back on curbing. So the only thing we need now is some more panels. And I am screwing this up because I'm hitting the wrong button, buttons. Have some more parachutes. That should be fine, I think. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Now, only thing we need is some more panels. Let's see, I'd like the parachute on another stage. Let's fix that now before we forget it. And this is our re-entry stage. And then we need to have under that the biggest lander part. No, not the lander, the launch part. So there will be first, of course, a second stage which will contain of three fuel with a biggest engine with the gimbling rockets. But do these have gimbling engines and they are a little stronger. Have an ISP of 370, this one 370, this one even more, but has less thrust. Just 120 kilonewtons, which well is good enough, I think, but I'd like to have a little more power. So I think I will just go for this one. And the small one here is good enough. Only yet yeah, there's a 390 ISP, this one 400. Ah, we'll be fine. We'll do fine. So under that, we need our primary launch stage, which will consist of, of course, some liquid fuel engines. Oh, actually, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I thought about putting an antenna but, oh, I will need one antenna, uh, but it won't be s transmitting a lot of data because we we'll no, do not have the electric charge for that. And I put it here, I think, it will be nice. Ah, nicely enclosed. And, oh yeah, behind, under this, we place a few of these, I think of four with the big ass engine, the bigger thrust, yep, let's do that, and at the sides some 
solid fuel boosters to get us the little push into orbit. Hmm, I am missing something. That are decouplers. Let's do that. Then we will just do this and see what happens. And let's turn the button again. Let's do four of these. Ah, should be enough power. Let's put it a little back so we can let, uh, let it rest on that. And this should be fine, I guess. Well, let's do a little less because this will be way too overpowered. And otherwise we get a little trust issues because I hope to get these tanks and these ones run out at the same time. To do that I think I will need a little less power even. And well I think this should be fine. Are we going to try it? Yep. So this will be a moon flyby, so let's call it flyby one. Flyby one. And let's put the description to the moon. Moon and back. Oh, and maybe we need to call it the good moon because it is moon. And back in one go, question marks. Well, let's see. Who do we have here? We've got Jebediah. Oh, nothing can be wrong with Jebediah in place, of course. Because Jebediah is so epic, he never crashes. Or when he crashes, he will always survive. So, let's save this craft and go to launch. And after some nice relaxing music, we are in space. Okay, let's see. We got still one day worth of food, oxygen and water. And I thought this one... Hmm, would do something. Apparently not. Hmm. Oh well, we'll see what happens. So let's put our throttle to full, have a nice cinematic view, and we will launch in 3, 2, 1, lift off with an acceleration of 3 G's, which is too much actually. We're gonna throttle a little back, try to keep us horizontal. We are missing some control, actually going to the side at the moment is not good. Try to counteract that. This engine does not have gimbling enabled. I can't see it and I'm not gonna try and look at it. Uh oh. We need to go to the 90 degrees. Keep it there, keep it there. Go back, go back. Come on, we can do it. And. Shut up. Okay, we are going way too fast and we can't turn around because of the airspeed. Let's just hold it here. Hopefully we're going to turn around. Where is the moon? We need to point at the moon to go to the moon. Actually we are launching a little late. So we need to do a run around the planet before we burn towards the moon. Let's just keep it here for now and see what happens. Oh, this engine has a, has a very different sound than normal. I like it. Ah, it has gimbling. Apparently just the force wasn't enough. Oh wow, we're, we're going way off target at the moment. We need to boot even, go even more horizontal. Okay, we're going to stage, and we are in space. Let's see what our orbit is doing at the moment. Hmm. Oh well, let's just wait until we get a little higher and then we will burn uh, towards a nice orbit. First, let's do some mystery goo experiments. Ooh, the goo seems to have clumped into the spheres and also appears to have become brittle. 
okay, let's uh, keep the data because we have four containers and we should be able to do enough, I think, to get around the planet, go to the moon and go back to Gerben. Oh well, we'll see. We're approaching the epilepsis, which is the highest point in the orbit. Hmm, the funny thing I see is that we're not connected to mission control. I think we need to activate this antenna of some of something. Transmit data, no. Extend. Hmm, it's not doing anything. Maybe if we turn around. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Retract. Oh well. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just something for... Maybe the mod is just broken, I don't know. Okay, and full power. Let's see if we can get us into orbital velocity, which is about 2 kilometers per second. <coughs> and at the moment we'll... We'll actually do fine, but we're a little late. We start burning a little late, so we need to go a little up and hopefully this will be fine. We need to burn for around a minute or so. And nice bass music. Hmm, I'm not sure if we're gonna go to orbit this or go to the moon this episode if it goes this way. One thing I'm seeing is that this one isn't declining but we have only electric charge for 20 minutes when our engine stops. So actually that won't be enough to get to the orbit of the moon because we need at least four or five hours. And you go away. Oh wait, we need to select these. That's fine. So I think we'll just go push our ship into the highest orbit as possible and then go back or something. We are getting into an orbit and we're in a stable orbit. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, if this one just wants to go away, I would like that. Why is it not going away? I don't know if I have it before. It's gone, and it's back again. Oh well, it's gone. It should be here at the moment, but oh well. Let's do another experiment. The goo has clumped up. Oh, for, I, I think this is the same, but oh well. So, let's see about pushing our orbit a little higher. Just gonna stay here. Put us into the, red, the prograde marker and fire up the engine. And just let it burn out. You got enough uh, fuel in this stage actually to go from the moon back to Kerbin, so it won't be any problem. Also, this will be a nice test to see what this engine can do. Oh, we're already out of fuel. Then let's see about this stage what it can do and how far it can bring us. I think I'm gonna turn down the sound a little because it's a little loud, I think. I think that is better. Well, I think this stage is enough to get to the moon's orbit and back, but we are way too late, so we can't get it actually there. Uh-oh. We got a problem. Uh, I think we can win 30 minutes or 2 hours without uh, electricity before the Kerbal dies of heat or of the cold. And at the moment we've got an orbit of, or a time to epilepsis of 5 hours, so it's way too, way too long. 
So I think we will need to push it back and to, well, a little orbit. I think even we need to start returning to uh, the planet, because otherwise we'll just uh, die. And that's not a good way to start the space exploration, because otherwise, well, I think the company will scrap our budget and go only for robotic flights, which isn't such a problem, but I'd like to get Kerbals into space. So if we just stay here, we have 30 minutes to there and one hour, no, no, not good enough. Wow, I really need some extra stuff. 20 minutes, I even will think of returning. So I'll just get the periapsis down to, uh, to under 30 kilometers, which is uh, enough to slow us down to uh, land. But this is a very powerful rocket, so that's at least something. Uh, we're going 8 minutes to there, 25 minutes to there. And we've got 16 minutes of uh, electricity, and the rest will be will be fine. Yeah, blitz will be fine. Okay. So we've got half fuel left, and we got almost to moon orbit and back with the power we had. So that's pretty good. Oh, now we're here. Let's do an EVA report. Oh wow, we got radiation even. I'm actually not sure if that's deadly of some kind, but how long can we survive an EVA? Five hours? Is this one still draining? Let's switch support switches. That one? Yep, that one. Oh, this one has no electric charge at the moment. Oh, so all the power is in the Kerbin suit. And here it will drain uh, faster than in space. Oh, well, that's one way to expand our liveliness in <laughs> space when we get to into, into problems. But for now, let's land flyby one. Let's go to the highest point of the orbit, do another science experiment, and then prepare for re-entry. So let's see what we get here. We are all again near space. That's a shame. Let's do a crew report. And also near space. Let's do another EVA report. Maybe we are in above a different biome. And we are currently at the highlands. Well, let's keep it and just... No, it was a new one. That's nice. Just store up as lot of stuff as possible. I think I will leave the last goo canister for the re-entry. Maybe even one extra. Let's reset that one. Because they all three were the same, so... Oh well, let's prepare for re-entry. And time warp to the atmosphere. The atmosphere starts at 70 kilometers, which will be around here. Electric charge running out. Okay, let's go on an EVA and see if we can get another biome. Yep, grasslands. That's good. Okay, we are at the moment at 1 minute 30 until our electric charge runs out. Let's turn the ship around because that is taking up electric charge. And point us here. It should be fine. And we run out. Okay. Electric charge depleted. And now the fun jittles begins of going down to the planet. Hopefully, I hope this will be going right. Okay, left stage. Let's see about turning crafts. We can't. So we are completely uh, going onto normal power. I will deploy the shoot, one of them. So hopefully the heat shield will take all the impact. And with uh, one parachute deployed, we actually can drag ourselves into a good airstream. 
hopefully that will go good. I'm not pretty sure about this, but observing space near Kerbin. That's a new one, I think. Last one we'll be getting from or during the re-entry, I think. Because then we'll get, I think, altitude near or high above Kerbin. I don't know. And uh, that's the wrong camera. Nope, 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 no orbital. That's a good one. Nope, it's not. That's fine for now. So let's see. Is our heat shield doing something? Not yet. Most free entry effects will be showed from the 30 kilometers on. And how long can we survive? It uh, doesn't show it here. Oh well, we'll see. We'll be fine, I think. It almost looks like the Apollo 13 mission, I think. The one which went terribly wrong and they needed to land with as less power as possible. Because their fuel cells, which provides power to a spacecraft, uh, got destroyed near the moon. And they needed to return with a little... Well, without getting any electric charge because they didn't have any solar panels back then. And they did survive, actually by uh, some interesting calculations. I didn't actually, uh, I don't really know what kind of calculation they did, but they were difficult, I know, and from a certain views they got it right. So that's not bad. Current drag, wow, even the drag has been shown. Um, well, it's doing a little now. We'll be getting reentry effects soon. And also our aim is good at the moment. Let's see how everything is doing. It's not getting heat up, so that's good. Only the heat shield is being ablated with fire. I'm seeing some reentry effects at the top, but it's actually good at the moment. Still good. Let's do our last experiment. Uh, from Kerbin Upper Atmosphere. Well, that's a new one. And now we just wait. Uh, if all goes well, this parachute will deploy in at 2500 uh, meters and be ripped apart. I think. I hope. All is going well. Temperatures are stable. Parachute is deployed. And heating up a lot. It will be burned off at a temperature of, I think, 1200 degrees. But it's not doing it, which is good. Okay. We're through the best, the most difficult part. Now, temperature's declining. Okay, we're fine. Now we just need to land. Okay, we can actually do it with only this shoot up, but I will deploy the other two just in case. Four kilometers, deploying the other two shoots. Our shoots should deploy at an altitude, I think, of 
uh, 1000 meters or 800. Eight hundred it is. And now we will just cruise down. And Touchdown! Ah. Let's recover the vessel and see how much science we got from this flight. I think around 50, which should be enough to engage the next stage. Yeah, we got 52.9. And, well, thanks to all the science or goo canisters, we got enough. So, let's see about getting some power. In my remembrance, we've got some batteries here. Yep. And with these batteries, we can at least extend the time we can stay in space. Uh, but I'm not actually sure how long that would be. So let's just buy this one and see what happens. The one way which I will really want to get is this one. Because here we get the first solar panel. Or how did it call it? Uh, photo full solar panel. Okay, which will be a cost of 90 science. So that only means we need to get higher up into the atmosphere. So let's see about doing that with the same lander, or actually the same spacecraft, flyby one, which will be sent into or call the flyby two, and just add some battery packs. And we need a lot of battery power, so I'm just gonna add it all here. And I will just add 8. Which will then will have a lot. But this one wasn't working. Which should add basic life support stuff, but it didn't. So let's see about some one else. Hmm. Pretty food, water, oxygen. No, no, no. Oh, so this, what these two uh, do everything. Let's just add one. Uh, add one, which will add uh, ten days worth of stuff. Uh, be right back. <laughs> 